What's up guys, this is Dwayne from Dynamic Graphics and today we're gonna to be talking more about DTF and this machine right here, the Muto 628 Value Jet Printer. That name is so long, we have to change that up. But we have some topics today to talk about. Without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Alright guys, so before we get into it, I just want to state that um, I am not a rep for the company I've purchased my machines from or am I any way affiliated with them. This is just for my full review and hoping it helps you guys, um, but if you guys need any help obtaining this machine, I can just point you in the right direction, just ask in the comments below. Now moving on, let's head over to the machine and talk more. Alright, so this is the home unit. My business unit has the roll feeder shaker right in front of the unit. And uh, it's a big bulky system, didn't need it at home. Wanted to utilize on some space for the office. All right guys, so in back of the machine, I'm going through just a bit of a transition. Um, this whole system is gonna be uh, done over to these refillable carts. They're just easier for me to work with um, and it's cost efficient for me. Um, this whole system was STS carts 220 mil and I just found that I went through them a little quicker than I thought I would so I had upgraded the machine to a one liter white system. I had another one next to this uh, other one liter but I noticed the bag had got a kink in it caught a leak so I got rid of that and I always said the safest way to go is probably with the refillable carts I'm still using STS I think STS's ink is by far great ink never had an issue and it has all my prints looking great also those two carts off to the left are two cleaning carts uh, to keep those channels clean in case I ever needed them say if I wanted to do fluorescent or say if I had a bad, uh, you know, channel, I can switch it over to that and, you know, put the white on a different channel if I needed to or a color if I needed to. But the refillable cartridges are the way to go, I think. They're great. It's a clean look, easy to fill. So this whole system is going to be done over to the refillable cart system rather than going with the one liter bulk system. If you guys need any help finding these cartridges, I can point you in the right direction. Now opening up the lid, it's a very clean system. Now right now I just took her off sleep mode so she's going to be doing a charge, basically keeping those jets clean and don't worry about this tape i just use it so it marks off the sensor in case i want to keep my hood open you can use whatever you want to basically keep that sensor from not letting you use the hood up while operation is going on and then you can see right there the head is just purging itself and it does the system every time I wake it up out of sleep mode. Uh, I shake my uh, in cartridges, actually my whites every day in the morning. And then after I take it out of sleep mode, it'll run its purge and keeping these lines clean, no bubbles. All right guys, so now we're doing the four step maintenance that I do. I go to my PC, I tap CR maintenance, you click start, you head over to your machine, you tap this button right here, the head would slide to the left, allowing you to be able to do your maintenance. Now this is the four step process that I do. Um, I spend about five minutes every other day doing it. Sometimes I can even go three days without doing it and my machine is going to be running great. Right after this, we're going to be doing a nozzle check. That way you guys can see my report card. 
but let me show you the four step process. So number one is going to be your capping station. Turn on the light right here. Boom. All right, so we have the capping station off to the right right here. I usually take my STS cleaning solution and I will spray into this capping station until it builds up a nice little foam and then I'll leave it. Now from there, I will take a couple swabs and I will wipe my uh, wiper very clean. You wanna get some excess back there. I don't know if I can focus this, hold on real quick. Now you'll see a little splashing all, all over there. You can clean those areas up if you want. I would advise to keeping your machine as clean is the best way you can do, especially with DTF. You don't want debris around too much. Now your drain, your ink drain, obviously you will cap it up. And I usually spray some solution in there to kind of drain down the ink. That way it doesn't harden there or causes any debris buildup in time. You do not want that thing building up. Now we get to the head. This is the fourth process right here. And that's mainly just getting your swab off to the left and to the right of the printer head. Do not touch directly towards it. You can mess some things up. The safest way to go is off to the left, off to the right, and just clean those areas up. There's some, probably some debris of ink that, you know, as it's passing by in motion, it can build up in time. So keep that area clean to kind of just make it all worthwhile. When I send it back from the maintenance, which I'm gonna do right now. As the solution's in there, I usually just leave the head in the solution and just let it soak for probably about two to three minutes and then I'll run a short clean on the machine. And that right there, guys, will basically help getting just the most out of prints. Over here, we're gonna be doing a nozzle check. And I think it's great that you guys get to see this because it just gets to show you guys this is very important to make sure your machine is giving you the best results and this will tell you how your prints are going to come out. White's looking great, black's looking great. After that, I'm gonna feed it out so you guys can see the results. Okay. So remember guys, this is eight months of me owning this machine and I'm gonna show you guys after eight months how we're looking. All right, guys, let's check this report card out. So, we could see right here that all the colors are definitely perfect. No issues. And this is just me doing my extra on this machine while it's doing its self clean. So it's a very low maintenance and you can get nozzle checks that look the way it does. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the rundown on the Muto 628. If you guys have any questions, just shoot the comments below and I'll uh, be sure to answer any of you guys' questions. We're gonna be talking about doing some printing on this so you guys can see the quality of the prints of this machine. So we're gonna run some prints on there, show you guys the quality and the process it takes to print off of this machine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Dwayne from Dynamic Graphics. Till the next video, guys, peace.